Hey, what's up everyone? You already know who it is. I got an intro. <laughs> I'm finally filming something. I know it's a rare occurrence. <laughs> I don't want to do one of those videos where it's like, oh yeah, I've been doing this and this and this and just give you guys an excuse. I don't really have an excuse. I mean, I could find the time to film if I really wanted to. It's just getting the motivation to do it. And there's, uh, I don't know, I just feel like there's nothing really interesting to film either so I mean same old videos on the same old streets doing the same old thing on the same old bike you know I don't know it just seemed like like doing things original and exciting but uh yeah here I am, it's a, uh, it's like almost 70 degrees, I think, which has been a, a wonderful change. It's kind of windy, as you can see by these flags. Um, but, uh, it's been cold, uh, for the past week or so. Hey, man. And, uh, let's see if this guy waves. Let's get him on camera if he doesn't. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Um. It's been cold for the past, I don't know, it seems like, it seems like forever, it seems like a week, probably not that long, but we got our first little taste of winter, you know, it was 30 degrees at night, and uh, just, just cold. I don't like cold, I really don't. My taste kind of changed, it used to be, I liked, before I, <laughs> I guess it's really because I have the motorcycle. Before I had a motorcycle, I didn't. I liked the. Uh, I like cold better uh, than than heat. But now it's the opposite. I I'd much prefer heat over cold. Because I mean, you can ride when it's really hot. Well, you can. I mean, you can ride either way, but it's easier to ride when it's really hot for me. Or it's it's. Uh, what am I trying to say? It's like com more comfortable for me. <clears throat> That's really what it comes down to. I mean, just rider preference in my opinion. But let's do a wheelie. <laughs> sure, there's no cough pulling me over again. Set that one down a little hard, the wind scared me. Started going a little sideways. <laughs> it's at least a 30 mile an hour wind, I'd say. Probably like a 20, 25 mile an hour wind with gusts up to 30 or 40. Almost, it was 117 to 120 degrees almost every day in the month of June or July. June? I think it was June. And uh, we were, like I said, we were the hottest state in the country for that month. And we're not, I mean, we're not that far south compared to a lot of places. We're really kind of, where I'm at is really kind of in the middle. I'm in uh, northeastern Oklahoma, uh, Tulsa area, and uh, we're we're really kind of right in the middle and so it's just weird for us having that kind of heat <laughs> really seems like you can't win here if it's not heat it's ice storms and if it's not ice storms it's a tornado if it's not tornado lately we've been having these little earthquakes that everyone's freaking out about uh I mean, they are doing, the earthquakes are doing damage, uh, they're right between Tulsa and Oklahoma City, is what I've heard, um, and they are doing damage to the towns around that area, but, 
up here it I mean it's just enough to feel it for like five ten seconds and I don't know I just not freaking out about it if it happens it happens you know it's like we get all the extremes and it's so bipolar which is nice in a way because even in say the middle of winter or fall almost winter like it is right now you get these days that are just 70 degrees and sunny when you go out and ride and same thing in summer you get when it's 120 degrees consistently you'll randomly have a day that's you know 70 80 degrees and it's just perfect for you know getting out there